Good Shabbos. This week's Torah portion talks about the kosher animals, the kosher fish, and the kosher birds. The Torah says, how do you know if an animal is kosher? It has to has, have split hooves and chew its cud. How do you know if a fish is kosher? It has to have fins and scales. How do you know if a bird is kosher? The other Torah says that there are 19 birds that are not kosher. You shall not eat these 19 birds that the Torah lists. And if it's not one of the 19 birds that the Torah deems unfit for food, then it is permitted to be eaten. Amongst the 19 birds that are not kosher is the racham. The racham is the roller. It's a European type of a bird. And then there's the chasida. Chasida is the stalk. And that's two out of the 19 non-kosher birds. And the question is, the word racham in Hebrew means mercy, compassion, empathy. The word chasida means kindness. From the word chesed, kindness. How can it be that two of the non-kosher birds is a bird called racham, which is mercy and compassion, and a bird called chasida, which is chesed, kindness. And Rashi says that the chasida is called the kindness bird because it performs acts of kindness with its friends, that it shears its food. The stalk has a nature to share its food. But why would that deem it unfit for eating? And the answer is that God made every human being with the trait of compassion and the trait of kindness. It's part of our spiritual, emotional DNA. There's no human being that does not possess it. Even Hitler was so evil. But when he came home, he was loving to his family members. Nazis went and murdered thousands of Jews every day. But when they came home, they were loving even with their pets, with their dogs. Putin was an evil man, murdering and killing so many Ukrainians and his own people. But I'm sure he has friends and loved ones that he's kind and merciful to. And so therefore, the Torah teaches us a very important lesson. The stalk is kind. The rachem, the roller, is merciful, but only to its own kind, to its friends, to its family members. Yes, it shares its food, but as Rashi says, with its friends. And what the Torah is saying is that if you're only kind and merciful to your family members, to your loved ones, to your friends, that's not true kindness. True kindness, true mercy, true compassion, true empathy is when it's not exclusive to your friends and family but it's for every single person that you meet, every single person that you encounter, you show them kindness and you show them mercy. There's a story that once in Israel, a child was hit by a car and the ambulances were rushing and people were running to the corner and there was a woman sitting by the window, an older woman, she said, what happened? And someone said, a child was hit by a car and the woman said, God willing, everything will be okay. A few minutes later, they came running to tell her that it was her grandson, Mayor, who was hit by the car. Suddenly the woman starts screaming and panicking. She starts running to the corner. Mayorka, my Mayorka. It's only normal and human that we have a special attachment to our loved ones and our family. And that's good. That's okay. But at the same time, we have to realize that every human being is a child of God. Every human being is a member of our family, the family of humanity, all created in the divine image. And therefore, our mercy and compassion and kindness has to extend to every single human being in the world that we encounter, unlike the stalk and the racham, the roller, that only show mercy and kindness to their own kind, those are non-kosher animals. Have a wonderful Shabbos.